Welcome back again, everyone, to Mike Collects Stuff. And today, we're gonna talk about what is the deal with Marvel trading cards lately? I don't get it. Marvel trading cards have been around since 1990. All of a sudden, they're spiking in value. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Just a month ago, you could still pick up the 1990 Impel Marvel trading cards for like a dollar a piece, less than a dollar. You could find them at the flea markets. People have them stuffed away in their closets still. But for whatever reason, all of a sudden in the last couple of weeks, the cards are going up in value. No doubt. Why is that? Why are the Marvel trading cards right now so hot? I think, personally, it has to do a lot with COVID because a lot of people, you know, were staying home and still are staying home and they don't really have anything better to do. So they're digging into their childhood, pulling out their cards, remembering what they used to buy, baseball cards, comic books, basketball, all this stuff. This is why sports cards and comics and all that related stuff is at a high point right now. But if you can take into consideration all the Marvel movies that they're putting out, with all the content on Disney Plus, there's no doubt that people are buying up the Marvel trading cards from the early 90s that feature the likes of Wolverine and Spider-Man and Venom and X-Men and all those guys. This is one reason why your Marvel trading cards are going up in value is because of all the content that's going on right now in the movies and in TV. So I decided to do some digging on eBay and uh, go look at some of the sold prices of the Marvel 1990 series in particular. And sure enough, if you go on to eBay and look at the sold listings, you will find factory sealed boxes of 1990 Impel Marvel cards that have sold for up to $6,000. $6,000 for an unopened box of Marvel cards from 1990. Do any of you guys have those? I mean, like, look at them, check them out. Now, that's a high price on eBay that's sold, but still, somebody paid that. Somebody paid $6,000 for an open box of Impel Marvel trading cards. And I have some stuff written down here that I, you know, that I was researching on eBay for sales. And I'll throw some pictures on the screen also during this video. So as I just mentioned, the 1990 uh, factory sealed box for 6,000, that was crazy. I saw on there the 1990 Captain America raw version of the card, ungraded. Uh, one sold for $16 and a PSA 10 sold at a high for $500 for a Captain America. $500, crazy. What's up with that? Also, there was a 1990 Venom vs. Spider-Man PSA 10 also sold for $500 for the Spider-Man Venom card. A 1990 Magneto PSA 9, this wasn't a 10, it was a 9, it sold for $200. A Magneto PSA 9. Crazy things going on here with the Marvel cards. Also, if you look at the 1990 Impel Stan Lee card, there's a Stan Lee card with some, you know, uh, a lot of colors and stuff going on. He's like a mixture of different characters. That card, Raw, was selling for $100 to $129 and a bunch of sales in the $50 range. So check out if you have the Stan Lee 1990 card because that one is a really good one to get. I didn't see any graded prices, so I'm sure there's some sitting at PSA now waiting to get graded. But at a raw, 100 to $129 for that card? Wow, crazy. What else did I see on there? I saw a 1990 Spider-Man hologram. So yeah, look for the holograms, because those things, super rare, and they're going for good money. So the Spider-Man 1990 hologram, raw, was going for 225. I saw a high sale for 225 on there. And then also a 1990 Spider-Man uh, regular card 
raw version, a high sale of $61. What? For Marvel cards, we all had these. We bought them when we were younger. When we were buying comic books in the 90s. Remember, we would buy the Marvel trading cards and put them in the boxes and save them. Nuts, now they're worth money. I don't know if this craze is gonna last. It could just be a quick fad. Maybe now is the time to sell. Sell why they're high. Don't wait for them to go down in value. Because if everybody starts sending them in to get graded, I think it's gonna overpopulate possibly. I could be wrong, but they might get overpopulated and then the values, values are gonna go down, obviously. So the more that end up on eBay, I think the prices are gonna end up going down. But right now, I think this might be the time to buy. I don't know if they're gonna spike higher, but anything's possible. Uh, obviously the condition matters. So if the card is in mint condition, those are the ones you wanna send in to get graded by PSA. Uh, I think BGS will do it, uh, SGC will do it. And you know, if you want a quick turnaround and a quick flip at a lower price, GMA will also uh, grade them. Uh, what else do we have? The uh, 1990 Impel Marvel uh, Black Suit Spider-Man. Uh, raw card sold for $28 and $34 on those cards. Insane. Uh, what else? There was uh, the Deadpool card, 1991. If you guys watched my other video, I went into the storage unit this weekend and I got the uh, 1991 uh, Deadpool card. There it is right there. Deadpool. So the only way to get this card back in 1991 was you had to purchase the poly bag X-Force number one. So this is the only way you're going to get this and you're not going to get this in every X-Force comic. Okay. There were uh, five cards printed of different characters and Deadpool was one of them. So this is his uh, rookie comic card right here. So believe it or not, uh, somebody had put one up on eBay for a $10,000 uh, or best offer at a PSA 10, graded 10, and somebody accepted that offer. So I don't know how much it went for. It probably did not go for the $10,000, but there was more than one sale with that 10,000 or best offer. I heard from somewhere, uh, from somebody, that that card sold for $4,000. But uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that was uh, a correct source or, you know, or what. But someone did accept that $10,000 best offer. So who knows? Raw, the raw cards, I saw high raws go for $50 of that Deadpool card. So go back, dig through your comic books if you have them. Look for that X-Force number one because they mass produced them. I think they sold over a million something copies. So every fifth one should have that Deadpool card. Now, that's the same thing. You've got to look and see if it's in mint condition. Because obviously, the better the condition, the more it's going to be worth. So, uh, I went and got a few uh, Marvel cards that I found on eBay. I, uh, I got some 1991 cards. And uh, I figured it was very difficult to get the 1990s at a good price. Uh, I do have some coming in the mail that I, that I had picked out that some people were selling, but they were not like the big expensive ones. I, I'm not going to spend that much money on them right now, but uh, I'll show you the ones I, I found from 1991. I got uh, a lot of them for like 20 bucks. I think I paid the guy sent me like 30 cards. So I thought I'd take a stab at it, even though it's not 1990, which is the hot set. I got some from 91 and then there's some other cards here that I picked up and found uh, recently. So I'll just share a few of these with you, not all of them, because I don't want to make this video entirely long. But uh, I got this uh, X-Men vs. Magneto 91 Arch Enemies card right there. That's kind of cool. And not all these are, are valuables. Like a lot of these will sell for like a dollar, two dollars on the condition. But I, I do have a couple in here that are like $20 cards. Uh, I got this uh, X-Men team card. That's kind of cool, right? X-Men team card. I got this X-Men versus the Sentinels card. There's a Punisher. Dr. Octopus. 
One of my favorites, this is a Venom. Not his rookie card, but I figure when his rookie card becomes unattainable because of the price, uh, the 1991 Impel Venom should be the next best thing. I think these were selling for around two to five dollars right now, but the condition's really good, so I might go over it well and see if it's worth sending in to get graded. We got a rookie card of Dark Hawk. So once Dark Hawk hits the MCU, not only will his comic book go up in value more, but uh, the rookie Dark Hawk card should spike in value also. And that one looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, we got the uh, Hobgoblin, Super Villains. Hobgoblin, that's cool. It's a cool graphic card. You see the backs of them. They uh, tell a little story about the, the characters, when they appeared, all that stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Got Wolverine vs. Hulk. It's kind of like a cartoony, well they are cartoonies, but it looks like Grey Hulk and that one. And then it shows the, the first encounter, Hulk number 180 of October 1974. So I think that's kind of cool on the back. It shows when they, uh, they first met each other. We got a Hawkeye card. That's kind of neat. Spider-Man vs. Hobgoblin. So I thought they did a good job with the cards. You know, even for 91, the graphics are cool. Uh, we got a Ghost Rider. This is a cool card. We got Galactus, Super Villains. The Human Torch. Uh, original Ghost Rider, Legend, Legends, Legends. Uh. And we have a 91 Spider-Man vs. Venom, Arch Enemies. Nice card. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, so these next couple uh, had a little bit of value to them. We had uh, Wolverine's Claws. These were selling for about uh, highs of about five to six dollars on eBay. And then we had a regular Wolverine card. And I actually saw this one. This one sold for a high in raw condition of twenty dollars. I think I saw two at that price. So that was the high sell of that card. And I got this in with the lot that I bought from the guy on eBay. Uh, so I was lucky enough to find the lot with this card in there. And this one also was a decent card. Uh, it's got Thanos, the Infinity Gauntlet. That's cool, right? And that one in a PSA 10, someone had sold it for $500 in a PSA 10. And then raw, raw. Uh, this one was selling for eight dollars. Then we got the uh, Thanos Super Villains card, and in raw condition. Jeez, uh, man, tongue tied today. Wow, long day of work. Uh, raw condition. This one had sold for up to twenty dollars. So just with those couple right there, you know, potentially I could get my money back, and if I send them in, if they're great shape I can get a lot more of my money back uh, I did have this one also in with the lot it's a 1990 Impel uh, Spider-Man versus the Green Goblin and this one actually there was a high sale of $20 on that one on eBay but this one's got a little damage up in the corner so probably not worth that much but it's still a cool card then there were some that I found when I was out and about this weekend. Uh, I just happened to pick them up. They were like a dollar a piece. Uh, these were actually from 1994. So I haven't looked, to, looked these up yet. But they were kind of cool. The, car, the, the graphics were kind of neat. I got a uh, War Machine. Venom. Of course, I'm gonna buy Venom. It's my favorite character. There he is, right there. Uh, we got a, a Deadpool. This 
This one was kind of neat. Magneto without his helmet on. This is a nice card. Morbius. It's a cool Morbius card. Got the movie coming out soon. And we got a cool Wolverine card. And this one is a 1996 Venom. Nice, another, another nice Venom card. And a 1994 Venom. Love my Venom. Venom goodness. So, why are Marvel cards going up in value? I think it's the popularity. I think it's the fact that people are trying to find nostalgic things to keep themselves occupied. Marvel cards are cool. You know, they're pretty cool. That's another reason. People are looking to invest in new things. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on right now. And uh, the hobby's uh, booming along with the comic books. So, I don't know. Uh, the X-Men, the X-Men, X-Force Deadpool card, rookie card. It's cool to have it. It's going for like 30 to $60 on average. Get it graded, PSA 10, you could be $10,000 richer, who knows. I'd almost rather have Deadpool's uh, comic book first appearance, but I don't. So I'll stick with the card. But, you know, that's what I got. What do you guys think? You wanna leave some comments? Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, the thumbs up, and uh, you know, leave some comments for me. But subscribe, that's the most important thing. So, comic cards, they're hot right now. Hot, hot, caliente. Go dig through your closet, your shoe boxes, whatever. Go check out if you have any Marvel cards. Look them up on eBay. Check out the sold listings. See what they're going for. Are they mint condition? That's the important thing. There's probably a lot out there not in mint condition. But the mint ones, money. That's all I got for you. I thought I'd do this video. I was just thinking about it. I didn't really uh, have a lot planned. But yeah, it's a hot topic right now. So that's it. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate all my subscribers. And that's all I got. Thank you so much. Take care now.